Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as you can see, I am back home from the British Tarantula Show. Had an amazing day, so I'm going to show you what I've actually bought today. So as you can see, first thing is my glass enclosure for my Parabuthus Velocus Orange Morph Female. It's a second hand, in, uh, hand enclosure, which I didn't really mind. Um, it just needs a good clean, and it's got a, a lid that slides each side. And uh, this is the person I actually bought it off, Gary McGowan, Garantula. As you can see, he's on Facebook, and there's his email address. Absolute fantastic uh, person, and uh, a great uh, tarantula supplier. So yeah, I bought this off him, and I've actually bought something to go inside the enclosure, which is this skull here. This skull only cost me um, four pound. The enclosure cost me seven pound. And as you can see, the scorpion can hide inside there. I just need to buy some uh, bird sand tomorrow. Um, I had a feeling they weren't going to sell bird sand uh, at the BTS, but it was worth a try having a look round. So yeah, they're my first two purchases. So everyone, my next purchase is uh, live food. So in here I have some very big super worms. As you can see, they're absolutely massive. And as I said before, these are good at um, for fattening up tarantula's abdomens. And these only cost me £2, and there's a fair, fair few in there. I couldn't believe how big they actually were, so I grabbed them straight away. Uh, next up, I have some dubia roaches, these three here. And these are fairly big uh, dubia roaches. They were, uh, as you can see, £2.50 per tub. And uh, I bought three of these. So these will go into the enclosure with my uh, red runners. Just going to try and take the lid off. There you go, everyone. I've taken the lid off. And there are uh, death heads as well. There's some smaller, ro smaller roaches in there. The ones with the wings, they're males. And the ones without wings are female. So, yeah. As I said, so they're seven fifty for three tubs, and there's the other tub just there. And uh, these three tubs here, these are some hissing cockroaches. They're absolutely huge. Look at that one, ladies and gentlemen. Same again, two fifty a tub. That big one there, that will be fed to my giant centipede tomorrow. So please stay tuned for that feeding video. Uh, let's just. Uh, Quickly take the uh, lid off. And there you go, everyone. A bit of a closer look. Whoop. Oh, God, it just hissed then. <laughs> that really scared me then. <laughs> That's why they call them hissing cockroaches. So, yeah, you can see the size of it. It's absolutely huge. Compared to my, to my hand, it's got to be at least three inches. So my centipede will love that tomorrow. And let's have a look at the other roaches. So everyone, these are the other roaches I've got. These are hisses as well. I think they might be Madagascar hissing roaches. I'm not too sure. Because there's no actual name on the lid. But these were 2 50 each. So I'd probably say my Apophysis would take one of these down fairly easily. I could always try. As you know, she's in pre at the moment. But I think she's still feeding. So I can probably feed one of these to my apophysis on Tuesday. So yeah, four of them as well. So that's my live food purchases. Next up everyone, I bought myself another mug again. Um, if you remember, um, I bought one of these last year from the uh, British Tarantula Show and that's a Kilo Brachy Species Electric Blue, which you all know I have one of these. And uh, the one that I bought last year, it had a huge crack inside it. So I didn't have it long, I had it about six months, so I had to uh, throw it away. So I bought myself a new mug, which was only £5. So I'm going to have a nice cup of coffee in a bit, uh, a bit later. So everyone, next up is my H. Spinifer Malaysian Forest Scorpion. Just take the lid off. There you go. I thought I'd buy a scorpion that's not a DWA scorpion. Uh, let's go try and find see where it is. Oh, there it is. 
Not the friendliest of scorpions, I must say. I've touched it a few times and it's tried to uh, sting me, so I'm going to use my tongs. As you can see, look, it's not the uh, friendliest of scorpions. It's got a little bit of, there we go, substrate on its tail there. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's a male or female. So it's uh, an unsexed specimen, but it's fairly big. This one, this only cost me uh, £8. Zoom in a bit for you guys, there we go. So yeah, that will go into a bigger enclosure because I can't leave it in here. It's way too small. So that will be rehoused um tomorrow as well so yeah malaysian forest scorpion so everyone next up is my brachypalma amelia um i bought only bought one tarantula this time and i have actually bought a true spider which i'll show you a bit later so as you can see this one was 25 pound and it is actually sexed female let's just take the lid off and there she is just there Beautiful little female. I was actually uh, holding her a little while ago. And uh, yeah, she's a beautiful little spider. Obviously, she won't stay in this uh, enclosure. I'll put her into a bigger enclosure and uh, put some substrate in there with the hide. So yeah, Brachypalma Amelia. Captive bred. So hopefully she'll be absolutely beautiful next time she molts. And she'll, you'll see the fantastic fresh colours. So everyone, next up I have, now this is the absolute gem I've bought today. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Cameroon crab spider. It's an adult female. Probably around about the three to four inch mark if she stretches her legs out. Uh, this is the actual scientific name. I can't really pronounce it. And that's the common name, Cameroon crab spider. As I said, adult female. Um, she was £35, but I know the gentleman that was selling it, and he charged me um, £30. It was from uh, my good friend Peter Grabowitz, who actually lives in Germany. I've bought a few spiders off him from his website as well, and scorpions in the past. So yeah, she's an absolute beautiful, beautiful tarantula. And I've actually got some uh, cork bark. Because these are actually all boreal species. Let's just put that lid back on because I don't really want it to get out. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, as I said, I've bought some uh, cork bark as well. Which was here. So that will go into a nice arboreal enclosure. And she can sit on there. Some substrate. And I've already got a water dish anyway. So I'll be rehousing her. Um, probably later today, or we'll probably do one tomorrow, sort her out tomorrow. So yeah, she's the absolute gem in my collection that I've bought today. So everyone, next up, uh, that piece of cork bark, that was £2.20. So next up, I have some little water dishes. Uh, these are for my, actually, for my actual scorpions. They're only 50 pence each. So I bought 10 of these. For my uh, DWA scorpions. So next up everyone. So everyone. Last up. I have six blocks of uh, cocoa fibre. And as you can see. You get three blocks for £5. And I have six blocks here. Which cost me £10. Which ain't too bad really. Uh, they usually sell it for uh, a pound a block. But this year they actually didn't. Um, the cheapest I've seen was £1.80 per block. And if I got six of them, that would have been £10.80. So I saved myself 80 pence. So yeah, um, six blocks for £10. And uh, there was my, my purchases from the British Tarantula Show this year. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.